Support our show with the code IHYD from our sponsor, Channel Fireball, when buying products from them. We'd like to thank Channel Fireball for being our sponsor for I Hate Your Deck. If you want to support our content, you can use the code at Channel Fireball, I-H-Y-D. Anytime you guys are checking out singles, new product, pre-ordering boxes, go ahead and hit that code up. It's definitely going to help us out and help us help you to give you more content. I Hate Your Deck. Especially when you see spicy cards playing in our show and you want to get those cards, check out Channel Fireball and use our code IHYD. If you'd really like to support I Hate Your Deck, we have a Patreon where we have a Discord and in our Discord we play lots of commander games via spell table. So don't be afraid to sign up to our Patreon so you can get access to our Patreon only exclusive Discord where not only do Joe and I interact with our fans and patrons, but we also play lots of commander game and we play test new decks. Think of Discord as pretty much your local game store. We're pretty much cultivating a new community of people coming in our Discord, playing games, having fun. Everybody's doing the rule zero conversation, so we're making sure we're talking about the decks that we're gonna play. No one's feeling salty, everybody's having a good time. So definitely join that patron, hop in our Discord, get that deck list, and you can also get access to premium altar sleeves that we change up every single month. Guys, we have so much merch coming your way. I mean, we got t-shirts, we got hoodies, all different sorts of colors, we got dice bags, we even got mugs. I mean, you can drink coffee while you hating your deck. Come on, man, that's the best part of waking up. Definitely get on that merch. If you wanna support I Hate Your Deck, we got the Patreon, we got the merch. We are very excited for this partnership. We hope you are excited for all the episodes to come. What's going on? Cash is Marsh from the Pittsburgh Steelers and welcome to Cash Cards Unlimited VIP Lounge. Come on in. We're doing a grand opening for my store, Cash Cards Unlimited. We are a trading card shop here, again, in Westlake Village, California. So we have, obviously, Pokemon Magic the Gathering, but um, we sell a ton of Panini products. We have all the NFL, we have all the NBA, we have some, some baseball as well. Uh, we've got some golf for Panini. We've got all kinds of different sports cards and stuff. We wanted to create a place where anybody and everybody can come and you can interact and it's good energy and, and uh, you know, I just want everybody who comes to Cash Cards to to get good energy and get good vibes and just have a fun time and, and a memorable experience. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know about the Rule Zero conversation. Uh, this episode may have not had it, but we are trying to implement that from here on forward. We always do a Rule Zero conversation before we film. And what that is, is basically talking about different decks, trying to figure out the spice level. What does everybody want to play? How fast your deck can pop off? How many infinite combos you have in your deck? If you have even a soul ring in your deck? And basically it just gets everybody on the same page so that we're all feeling good, we're all having fun, because what this really is about is playing magic with your friends. And that's just what we want to highlight. So definitely try to implement that into your play group, play that Rule Zero, give a little talk, before you play magic. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. Shenanigans will ensue in this no holds barred EDH show. Each episode we highlight a new commander deck that you get to see pop off in a glorious fashion. We wanna give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. Oh, oh, mask I just off. distributed them. You just distri the distributor of I dice. I distributed. Oops. But you forgot to you distribute you yourself. What does that, that say oh, about okay. life? I'm a giving soul. A giving soul. You gotta remember about yourself. I'm though. getting in a Feldegrave mood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hug. Sure. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Joe Johnson, aka Black Nito, and today I am playing Timna and Sidar for the reason being that I wanted to stick every Vivian and Kaya in one deck. That's it. What's up, it's your boy Lynch. I'm back this time with the fairies. I got Alea, the artful provocateur. And uh, I'm gonna cast enchantments, some artifacts, and get a lot of fairies. And no matter what, I like just having fun playing magic at the table with friends. Hi everybody, I'm Rachel Weeks. I'm playing Feldegriff with the companion Karuga. So we're playing two hippos today, and uh, my hope is to give hippos to everyone out of love. And then combo off and win the game. What's up, Deck Masters? My name is AD, and I'm playing Felden of the Third Path. Today I'm going to discard some fatties, cheat them into play, and attack Mike. 
<laughs> I hate your deck. <laughs> All right, shall we ready to All roll right. it up? Let's roll it up. Let's see who goes first. I goes first. Boom. Uh, I don't know what nine. Happened. I, I got think that was, okay. That was yours. I got. I a got seven. a six. Three. Uh, <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. <laughs> Here, start us off. Right and magic card. Take us away. All right, I'm gonna play a snow-covered mountain. Pass the turn. Okay, all right. Let's draw a card. Let's play a. Uh, start off with a silent clearing, uh, and I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn. Oh, you guys are gonna love my deck. Guildgate tapped. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I love your deck. You're gonna love my deck. <laughs> <That's> cheap. <laughs> draw for turn. So we're gonna play a forest. And there is only one turn one play in this deck, and I get to make it. I'm going to suspend search for tomorrow. Oh, Night. with two suspend counters on. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't sleep on the hippo deck. Okay, we're going to draw this card. All right. Sleep on the Guildgate deck. I'm going to play a second beautiful snow-covered mountain. I'm going to pay two and cast a mind stone and pass the turn. That ramp, that ramp though. Oh, you got, you got that, that Guildgate win in there. I got the guild. You got the guild. No, I don't have the guild. <laughs> what is the guild? I don't. This is the upgraded precon. I haven't played in forever. Okay. All right. I see you, Mr. Guildgate, over there. I think you All right, played with me last time I played this deck. <laughs> three, three color mazes end deck. <laughs> can you even win with only three colors? You can copy it with Orvar for you instance. Could, there you go. Yeah, Orvar Gates is so funny. <laughs> I want to play a Bayou for my second land for turn. Guildgate. <laughs> it just happens. It happens like that. Uh, I'm going to lose a life from the silent clearing. Uh, I'm going to make white and then black with my bayou. And I'm going to play a corpse knight. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. That's it. <laughs> Are you playing the misprint corpse knight? I don't think. Wait. Is he, is he supposed to be a 2-2 or 2-3? I think he's supposed to be a 2-2. Two, two. I'm playing the misprint! Yes. <laughs> he's a 2-2. I two, think two. he's supposed to be a 2-2. Two, two. I think he's supposed to be a 2-2. Judge, yes. you have a judge. That is, that is the misprint. Misprint Corpse Knight for the win. He's a 2-2, two, two, not a 2-3, I think. I mean, you got to love that. Every, every <laughs> edge it. we could get here on I Hate Your Deck. <laughs> <laughs> misprint. Right. I'll pass turn. You're passing. <laughs> Untap. Draw for turn. Let's see. What is the right play here? I guess this will be the right play. I'll tap, uh, I'll put an island down. I'll tap it. I'll, or is off Signet. Okay, a little ramping. A little ramp. I see you. And I pass. All right, I will untap and at my upkeep, I'll remove a suspend counter from search for tomorrow. I will draw for turn. And then I will play an island. Ooh, land. And I will pass. Oh yeah, my basics cost more than <laughs> Lynch's dual land. <laughs> We're gonna untap, draw this magic card. Play a third snow-covered mountain. At least they're nice mountains. Yeah, just nice, clear skies. Nice old man. He oh, comes. Just a, a nice, nice guy. Just a, just a sweet, sweet old man. Santa Claus yes. type <laughs> dude. <laughs> Mourning the uh, loss of, of his, his wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> Will he ever get over it? I don't think so. <laughs> He's I mean, trying to yeah, fill I mean, like the <laughs> hole his wife left with a blight steel colossus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, he, he needs therapy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He just needs <laughs> therapy. Yeah. 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 Go see somebody for that. Oh, he needs giant robots. <laughs> That's the amount of red life. Fill the soul giant robots. You got anything uh, else after that? That is it. I'm going to pass okay. the turn. All right, cool. So tap, upkeep, draw. And I will play a command tower for my third land for turn. And let's go ahead and tap out. I will use the, uh, yeah, I got to pay one life. So I'm going to pay a life, add black, and I'm going to cast Timna, the Weaver. Uh-oh. Uh, and that triggers the Corpse Knight, so each of you lose a life. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, and everybody. Boop, 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 And then I'm going to go to combat. I always hit the blue player first, but y'all are both blue. <laughs> I don't know who to hit. All right, uh, let's just send a corpse knight over at Rachel for two. Yes, sir, I will take the two. She is a returning champion of the show. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this is a secret Orvar deck. <laughs> <laughs> Magically just in there. It's Feldegraf Orvar. I uh, did damage with one of my creatures post-combat. I'm going to pay one life, and I'm going to draw a card. Oh, I draw life. Three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm gonna pass my turn. That's it. Okay, I will untap. I will draw for turn. I'm gonna tap all four. Gives me 
Alea, the Ar Artiful Provocateur. She's flying, death touch, lifelink. She's the 2 3. Other creatures I control will fly and get a plus one, plus oh. And whenever I cast an artifact or enchantment spell, I create a 1 1 blue uh, fairy creature token with flying. So I now have a blocker. Yeah, I see. All right, about I, I pass. You're killing all my plans, walkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I will untap and I will remove the final counter from my search for tomorrow and I will go find a basic planes and put it into play. That oh, ramped out. That basic planes. Mm -hmm. That ramped out. Comes into play untapped, right? That would be. Yeah. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> no. I waited you so win. long for this. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in tapped. Get a planes. Okay. White mana. The sign of surrender. <laughs> The sign of surrender. <laughs> it's like a, the white flag, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is Felder Roof five colors? No, no, no just three. three. Oh, okay, bant. three. Oh, ah, bant. Yeah. He's bant. He's bant. Good old hippo. Then I will draw for two. And I will play a forest as my land for turn. Checks out. And yeah, I feel okay about what's happening. I'm going to pay three mana and cast a Farhaven Elf. And then I will go find an island, and I will put it into play tapped. Rampity ramp. All the ramp over there, ramp gang. Yeah, when you can't cast a spell until turn three, <laughs> <laughs> you have to cast more spells quicker. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, then I will pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap these cards, draw this one. I'm going to play a command beacon for turn, pay five and just cast a completely fair and on-curve Cavalier of Flame. When it enters the battlefield, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. And then when it dies, it deals X damage to each opponent for, uh, and, and each Planeswalker they control, where X is the number of land cards in my graveyard. We're gonna be after my Planeswalkers, man. <laughs> We're not here to discard lands, just. <laughs> we are here to discard Atali, yeah. uh, Hellkite Tyrant, and Mere Battlesphere. Yeah, and that seems cards. Cool. He loves his yeah, Mere Battlesphere. That's, that's, uh, Coming right down the top. Oh. <laughs> oh. Revenge is a bitch. It's just a list of cards that are just coming straight at you as soon as possible. Revenge is not fun and I hate your deck. <laughs> Game memory. That's what Game makes this a genuine magic experience. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn to you, Joe. All right, cool, cool. Untap. I'll draw. I'll play a Wooded Bastion for my land for turn. Oh, things are getting a little spicy over there. Let me just tap three. And I'm going to play a Kaya's Guile. Mm. Uh, I get to choose two. Each opponent sacrifices a creature, exile all cards from each opponent's graveyard, mm. create a 1 1 white and black spirit creature token with flying, and gain four life. I think I'm going to choose sac everyone sack a creature and exile all the cards from each opponent's graveyard. And they happen in that order, right? In that order. Oh, oh brutal. <laughs> oh, it's your lucky day. You brutal. gave Thank you, friend here. You got a friend here. I hope you, I hope you know that. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna swing Timna at you, Rachel, and my corpse knight at you, Mike. I take two, because I have no blocker. I will take two as well. I will gain two, but then I will lose two, because I'm gonna go to my post-combat and draw two cards. Commander damage. And Just in case she gets suited up. You know, she puts on her battle armor. <laughs> Timna the Weaver. Weaver! She's gonna be like, I got my battle armor going. <laughs> I got this card, so I will discard a Battle for Better Guard. Discarding that, and I will pass the turn. Untap, draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna play another uh, Demir Guildgate. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Big Guildgate! Guild. Another Gate tap in the house. land up in this. Get in the house! <laughs> 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 it's so well, awful. People. It's so terrible. <laughs> I have a group hug card in my hand that will right. just kill us. So I, can't, I just can't. Cast I'll, uh, I'll tap three and I'll cast Mana Jode when it enters the battlefield. Scry one. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the bottom. Does, does everyone like drawing cards? I mean, yes. Never. Yeah. I'll tap two. Morally against it. I'll cast Howling Mine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I pass my turn. Never mind, we're friends. <laughs> All right. I Easily will flattered untap. and persuaded. <laughs> and I will draw two cards. I will cast Joe's favorite magic card, Silvala, Explorer Return. <laughs> yes! Oh, <laughs> yes! That's Bay. And I will play a Teleria West tapped. I thought I was done with this card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. This is Doug's deck. This is Doug's deck. This is Joe's deck. 
in Bant. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. No two mana plays. Not, mm. not in zero, <laughs> zero, and you're going to foretell something. I'm going to untap these lands and draw two magic cards. Nice. Thank you for the hollow mind. Oh, that was very nice. Of you. So sweet. It's, it's a, I'm a group hug he right is now. Such a I actually sweetie. love your deck right now. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I want you guys to love. I got two <laughs> guild gates <laughs> and a hollow mind. That wasn't directed at you that last what, time. I just saw some spice going there. Mm -hmm. At some point, you have to expect respect. Uh, you know, <laughs> responsible magic. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, this isn't a responsible deck. So how many artifacts and enchantments are out? <gasps> what could it be? What could it be? <laughs> oh. Dark side. I think it's. I, I think have about to see two, only two, three. Shadow. So oh, yeah, three. Yeah. I have three. three. So so it's a pretty what? modest dark side yeah. extortionist. I wouldn't. I wouldn't imagine that. In the scheme of things. That's probably enough. Let's just go for it. <laughs> we, I got a train to catch. Red way. <laughs> That's probably fine. Uh, All right. Do um, it. We're going to just start by paying uh, five and casting Mana Geyser. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. So Mana Geyser. Four for me. Should it resolve? One, two, three. How many lanes you got tapped over there? One, two, three, four. Four, eight. Math. <laughs> Eleven total. <laughs> Eleven red manias. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Go off, King. Uh oh. Uh oh. So got eleven manias. I'm gonna use two of them to cast Key to the City. Sure. All right. Discard Outlet. I'm gonna I feel discard safe. Dockside Extortionist. Uh huh. So I'm going to use three of the remaining nine mana to activate Felden to make a token copy of Dockside Extortionist. So, okay. So, so you have have six floating mana. So I have six floating manias. This is Cappy. So that's a Dockside Extortionist. Nice. So you have six floating mana and three and, treasures? And three treasures. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, five of the floating mana. Okay, uh, one more floating. One down, uh, down to one floating to cast Luca, Copper Coat Outcast. Uh-oh. Yep. And then, so he comes in with five loyalty. We're gonna minus him down to three loyalty. It's Exi the wheel. Exile this token copy of Dockside Extortionist, and we're gonna spin the wheel. So Luca's minus two reads, exile target creature you control, then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher com converted mana cost, which in this case is two, and put that card onto the battlefield and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. What so do we we're do? No. You watching yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> So nothing. Clone Shell, sure. pretty right. modest hit, all so things yep. considered. So when Clone Shell enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library, exile one face down, and put the rest on your bottom, up, up your bottom. Put them up your bottom. <laughs> put them up your bottom in any order. Um, gets my hand in the... Uh, one of those goes in the bottom of your deck. The top yeah. one does. Oh, the, the top one does, okay. No, 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 no. Wait, the top uh, one of your hand. Oh, like, oh okay, yeah, that, 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 that is, yeah. is a, sorry. That's okay. So when, <laughs> You're just drawing cards? You're just wheeling and drawing So we hit Clone <laughs> Shell. When Clone Shell enters the battlefield, I look at the top four cards, and uh, I could put one underneath it, and when it leaves play, it can just pop straight into play if it's a creature. So I'm going to put these cards uh, also up my bottom in a random order, <laughs> and I'm going to then pass the turn. All right. So I'm tap. I don't know how I'm going to compete with that turn. <laughs> All right, let's see. Heart of cards. Alright. It's a 2 2. It's a modest little two. It's a shell. Put another filter land. A Twilight Maya. I'm going to tap these two for a Bitter Blossom. Okay. Mm -hmm. At uh, the beginning of my upkeep, I can I lose one life and put a 1 1 Black Fairy Rogue creature token with flying into the battlefield. Oh, wait. I was supposed to draw two cards from Holly Mine. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I can mm -hmm. just draw that next one. Okay, cool. That would change my play. Take backsies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is still going to happen, but <laughs> instead I will tap all five, lose a life, play a Gilded Lotus, ah. and then play three for a Bitter Blossom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. For sure. I'll take that, I'll take that take backsies. I feel like everybody got stuff out, and I feel bad for swinging at you because you've given us more cards. <laughs> so, I'm just going to hold off, and I'm going to pass the turn. All Be right, cool. I'll Be take cool. that. I'll untap. I'll draw one for my turn and then draw two for hauling mine. This is just my luck right now. <laughs> I have another tap land. Yes! Uh, I gain one life. This is a game of pendants. <laughs> yeah. What should I do? Let's see, can I do this again? Can I tap six? And can I have my commander stay out? <laughs> 
You, you know? can have it from my deck. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I uh, I passed. That's all I can do. Brutal mental blast. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had it. Uh, Let's get out of this deck. <laughs> I will <laughs> and draw for turn. Ooh. Did you draw your extra card? No. Got him. <laughs> Got him, coach. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to pay two blue and two green. I'm going to cast Psychic Possession Enchanting Joe. <laughs> no! Fine <Lying> choice. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I skip my draw step, and whenever you draw a card, so do I. Oh. I'm right. not taking anything. I thought that was, I was, I thought that was gonna be terrifying. I no, saw no, blue, no, something no, blue no, and no, enchanting no. me, and I was like, what? We're just sharing. Skipping when you your draw benefit, step with a I howling benefit. mind. <laughs> I, I draw off of his howling okay. mind. I know, but you don't get the. And you know what? I get to draw an extra card off of Silvala. You do you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Skip your draw step. I'll take it. Uh, and it's a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, then I am <laughs> going to parlay. And we're all going to reveal. Swamp. Bring some bright hearts. Okay, so I gain two, and I have two floating mana. I got a non-tap land. Uh, <laughs> How many tap lands did you have in that deck? It was the pre-con. <laughs> I upgra upgraded it. I mean, you upgraded it. <laughs> Well, it was a six. Watch, he's just gonna ham slam Urza next time. <laughs> <laughs> if I get Urza, uh, I think probably would have played them already. <laughs> it's cheaper than the six for real. Sha, no, 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 no. I'll use the two floating green mana and a blue and a white, and I will cast my darling, my precious Feldegriff. Oh yeah, she's and out. And then I will play a tapped treetop village, and I will pass the turn. Untap. Uh, oh, I draw two from Joe's parlay. Yeah, Sorry. Parlay. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's yeah, cool. because I, he's enchanted. That's yeah. why I did it in that order. <laughs> you got <laughs> it. <laughs> Sorry. You, got, you got there. <laughs> All right, we're going to draw one card, then we're going to draw another card from Howling Mind. I'm howling my mind. I'm going to play another snow covered mountain. Look how beautiful they are. This is it's got the old school snow covered. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. So afraid of this yeah. card. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of options. I know here. you have a rings of bright earth in hand. <laughs> I know. So we scary. saw that. That's the, the good thing about the parlay. You Ooh, get a preview. You get a peek at how you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> how badly will this very badly? Okay, we're gonna start by casting rings of bright earth, as uh, mentioned. So. That's sad. Yep. Here it comes. All right. So then. I'm going to, how many artifacts and enchantments are in play? The seven total. Sorry, guys, we're not, the mathematicians did not end up <laughs> being people who make videos. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's six. Six. Pay three um, to activate Felden, then I'm gonna sacrifice a treasure to copy the activation to make two copies mm -hmm. of Doxide Extortionist. Yeah, 12 treasures. So yep. I make 12 treasures. We're gonna need a bigger dice. Yep, might as well get that D20 over there. <laughs> get it? 12, 12. 12 treasures, so we get- Six times two. So Can we're up to 14. 14 treasures now. Oh no, am I the deck doing the thing on the show now? That's annoying. <laughs> um, <laughs> you could be. Did we get there? <laughs> I'm gonna activate Luca, go down to one. Exile one token copy of Dockside. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna fish off the top here until we hit a creature. Ooh, not a creature, not a creature. Creature. Goblin Welder. Goblin Welder, he's a little cutie. Goblin Welder is a goblin and it says, it's a goblin, it was a goblin deck. Choose target artifact. Uh, basically I tap it and I switch a target artifact with an artifact in that player's graveyard. So I could switch an artifact. Or you could do it with your own graveyard. Yeah, or I could switch it with someone else's oh, thing. Okay. It's, that's what it does. It exactly. switches something, uh, an artifact in play for one in a graveyard. So Gray was using when he won. Yeah, yeah I, remember, I remember that. Yeah, it's a combo piece. <laughs> um, it's giving me a lot of PTSD over here. <laughs> that red PTSD. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of not hitting the big lads very much. They all got exiled. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> they all got exiled. Yeah, this game wouldn't be allowed. This game would be over. Kyle's Kyle, that, MVP. That was, that was a thick yeah. Kyle's Kyle. <laughs> what you got now, player? I got Ugin. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Right. You had to ask. You had to ask. Fine. You know, what could it, it be? It was probably coming fish. regardless. Don't act like I manifested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's 
uh, no, I go down to six. Toughness is three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toughness. Okay, plus I'm up to nine, and I'm going to hit. I think it's Tim. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then a um, little, little clap back for the for the Kai's guy. I'll so I'm going to move to my end step. My uh, token copy of Dockside Extortionist will die, and I pass the turn. Okay. We survived. We did. <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> All right, I'm when is the time for an ally ship coming into play? This is what happens. Uh, in the yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like, okay, no one wants to, to see that, that again. We need to take yeah. that Ugin out. I'm gonna lose a life on my upkeep and make a fairy. And you draw two cards. And I draw two cards. And I draw and so two cards. cards. So does Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's excited about it. Because I possessed him psychically. Psychic possession. <laughs> And then uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses a life, so Oop. you guys all lose a life with me. Ping. Uh, so I'll draw one, and I'll draw two. I will draw one and two. I'll play a Marsh Flats for my land for turn. So I have three, four, three green, four, five, six, seven. I'll lose a life from the Silent Clearing. I'll play a Zendikar Resurgent. Uh oh. Uh, whenever I tap a land for mana. A Zendikar Resurgent for me? <laughs> for you. Only for you. <laughs> whenever I cast a creature spell, I can draw a card. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to crack this Marsh Flats. Ooh, oh. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this right. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> Boop. That's what it feels like being slowly drained of your life force. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Boop. Boop. <laughs> I'm going to go get Savannah. With Marsh Flats, there are people that were that were jealous that George, that, that George, that Joe's, Joe's board state is more expensive than their rent. <laughs> Fair, I think we're probably there for, for me at least. <laughs> and I'll tap uh, four. Actually, I'll make uh, two black with the Command Hour and two white with Savannah. And I'll cast Tesa Karloff. Nice. Uh, if a dying trigger causes uh, a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Creature tokens uh, you control have vigilance and lifelink. And uh, another creature came in, so everybody lose a life. Boop, boop. And, and we draw a card. And we draw a card. Oh. I got seven cards. And Timna is gone. Doesn't help me to swing, so I'm gonna pass the turn. Wait a minute. How did that Luca, the Luca trigger says, Oh, Does that have to be bigger? Yeah, you're right. So, much as I might like this one drop Goblin Wilder, it says a card with a higher CMC of the exiled card. So in case it, this case, it was a copy of Dockside Extortionist, so right. I wouldn't have yeah, gotten this. Got so okay. hopefully we don't hit something with an ETB trigger. And if I do, this is the, the most Tixie Baxi yeah. thing. So you get, you get <laughs> No! It's no! <laughs> no! I mean, that I don't want that to happen at all. Everything. Why that just... <laughs> okay, so, and of course it has haste. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, it's not on my turn. I don't have my Dockside out anymore. I could have copied Dockside and kept going, so. It's, <laughs> I think we have to call it a whiff at this point. A whiff? Like, not a whiff, obviously it's a hit, but like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, we can't walk back that far. So you have a Kiki, <laughs> but, uh, but it's. It's still Joe's oh, turn. That's bad television. Sorry, everyone at home. And yeah, now we have to worry about our Kiki. Kiki. Unfortunately, this happens. This is, <laughs> yep, this is how it's. So now there's just a live Kiki on I the table. I think this is how we die, y'all. We have well, seen finish the your turn. Finish your oh, turn. Oh, my turn is done. Your turn? It's your turn now. I'm okay. <laughs> well, I at least want to tap and cast some spells, <laughs> slaying some spells. Kill it with fire okay. or I whatever mean, you play with. I Fairies. tap, I draw for turn, and then I draw for Howling Mind. Let's see here. I have a land. So I'll play a non-tap land. Hey, Two, coming up in the world. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> right? Is it a basic? To get there. <laughs> Ooh la la. All right. <laughs> so I will tap the tapped land and a white. I will cast Ethereum Sculptor. Mm -hmm. Artifact spells cost me one less. And because he's an artifact, I get a fairy Boop. trigger from Alea. One black, because artifact spells cost less, oh. and I'll Ooh, cast okay. a black blade reforged, uh -huh. which will trigger, and I get another 
Fairy. Noise. Okay. How are we then? Just gonna lose to the tap land deck. <laughs> this is an eight mana <laughs> lightning bolt you got there. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna do something. I mean, um, if you can take out an Ugin, that's pretty good. That would be cool. So let's see here. I think I can do a couple things. I think I can tap three to equip it if it's a legendary. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And then I can ca tap two to cast all that glitters. Okay. Wow. Are you just gonna one shot me? All Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus seven, eight, nine, ten. That counts itself, right? Yeah. 11, 12. I think it's a 14, 14, 15. All right, well. That's, that is no Ugin killer. Mm -hmm. So, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, if, it might be player if, removal. Or player removal. Point. Can Whatever anyone give want. it? If I take out Ugin, will the table protect me? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, we will. Can I get that from you, Joe? Yes, I will. I will, I, I, my I will do what I can to protect you and your okay. beautiful provocateur. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> because I casted all that glitters, I get another fairy. Uh -huh. nice. Trigger Alea. Okay, so it's 14, 15. All right, so I will go and I'll swing at the Ugin. Okay, Ugin's very dead. And then I nice. gain 14 life, because it's life length. Yeah. Ooh, super dead. All right. Thank you. Sure. I did something. Are you all set? I pass. All right, I will untap. It's all yours. I skip my draw step because of psychic possession. Yep, yep. I'm going to shock in a temple garden. I'll mm -mm. take two. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I will tap Sylvala. Parlay. And then we will parlay. Mm. So I. Evolving wilds. Okay, so I get Nobody. three and I gain three. Nothing. And I have three. <laughs> Don't. Hand. What are you talking about? And, uh, uh, you draw I have, a card. And then I draw an additional card because Joe drew a card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I gained the three life from Zavala. <laughs> I think I have to do this because it's really funny. I want to see the fun. Do it. I will pay three and I will cast an angel's trumpet. <laughs> Uh, so it says, attacking does not cause creatures to tap. At the end of each player's turn, tap all untapped creatures he or she controls that did not attack this turn. Angel's Trumpet deals one damage to that player for each creature tapped this way. So what that means <laughs> is attacking creatures have vigilance, and if you don't attack, you take one damage per creature. That does include creatures that had summoning sickness that couldn't attack. So you will take one damage for each creature that doesn't attack. Gotcha. I've never seen that card before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, what it is is a- He wins the game with this card. Three CMC. She's gonna give you way too many hippos. I'm gonna so. pay three and I am, <laughs> I'm gonna cast Intruder Alarm. Oh no, too many hippos. Oh, oh no. So what this means- It's gonna untap every time we have a creature. Is I'm, I'm gonna pay a green. Well, I'm gonna pay a green. Uh, I'm gonna give you a hippo. All right, I'll take and it. And we are all going to drain, lose a life because of your corpse oh, knight. corpse knight, yeah. Uh, is there a hippo? I moved you. What that does that I didn't <laughs> intend right now is that untaps all creatures, including Felden. And Kiki. Kiki's already untapped. Did you get tapped yeah, in your response? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we are in a bit of a, a mess here. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, she's betting on just overloading my All mind I, with so too what, many options, what, what we, and it's what gonna we, work. <laughs> what we have to do is get to the end of AD's turn, <laughs> you and then I can kill him. And play with the kinky jinky. Yeah. I, I mean, I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap Silvala, right. and I, we're gonna parlay, sure. and I'm gonna draw one. Uh, memory jar. And I, so, uh, oops. Never I guess I got this. So I gained three. One, two, three, and then. Uh, I draw a second because Joe drew one. I, so I have three green floating. I'm going to use one of it. And Joe, I'm going to give you another hippo. <laughs> I mean, things there's are- two hippos. So there's two hippos. hippos. We all lose uh, one. Uh, uh. I'll lose, you lose. And I have two green floating still. I'm going to parlay again. And we're going to draw two cards. This is group hug. Well, I'm going to draw two. So there's defense of the heart. Okay, so I gain three, one, two, three. And I draw another card because of Joe. And now I have five mana, green mana floating. So I'm going to use three of it sweet. to cast Sword of Feast and Famine. I think she's going to kill us. And I'm going to use two to equip it to Feldegriff. OK, um, I'm going to go to combat, and I will send Feldegriff at you, Joe. All right. How much? It is six. six. Six commanda damage. And you discard a card, and I will untap all my lands. All right. Uh, let's discard Exploration. I don't need that right now. If I give enough hippos to Joe, I can kill everyone, and I'm gaining life off the Silvala. Give me all the hippos. Just keep, keep them coming. So 
we, we have a zoo over here. Come on. Yeah, I mean, but this also <laughs> untaps Kiki every turn, so it's like. Yeah, I mean, I have a ton of options like, there's with so Kiki, many things and I'm kind of like, waiting till you're pointing something at me. I mean, <laughs> so, I can make, so what I what I can do shit. is I'm gonna I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay green. I'm gonna give a hippo to Joe, which will drain us all for one, Yay. and untap everything. Yay! And then I'll tap Silvala to parlay. Dark Steel Forge. Last one is act. Okay, so I gain three and I draw an additional card because of Joe. Okay, so I have three green mana floating. I'll use two of it and I will give Joe another hippo. Yes. And it will drain and untap all creatures. It drains us too, yep. Yeah. So I whole... don't, so a hippo token for Feldegrift does not exist, so I use tiny rubber hippos. <laughs> you got a hippo army. And, I'm, and I mean, I can repeat this 33 times and, until, I mean, AD okay. dies. Like I, this is a loop. Before yeah. you continued the loop. So so let's say I tap Silvala to yeah. parlay again. Right. So everybody. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean you have to do it because you're putting cards in my hand, which is dangerous. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I gain three. One, two, okay. three, and I have, I'm up to five. That gave Joe a hippo, so we all lose one. Okay. And Joe gets another hippo. Oh, a hippo. Like, you have to so draw where, me in. So where do you enter? Where, so we just uh, have to You're drawing keep, me into it. So we just have to keep so we need going. To keep doing okay. It. So mm. I will untap. <laughs> Uh, untap Sil Silvala and, and yeah, all creatures untap from Intruder Alarm. So I'm just gonna use I mean, the five, I'm gonna use the five green floating and I'll just give Joe five hippos. Nice. So we all lose five. Okay. And then we're, we're, so, we're not drawing right now. So like in response to that, okay. I'm gonna activate Kiki Jiki five times and make five clone shells. We're not, well, we're not untapping right now. This is just five mana that I'm okay. using. So I have five mana floating. I'm just using five mana floating to, mm -hmm. to but, but do five the, to but, all of us. But the things come in and they trigger intruder alarm. Yes, they so do. Yes, you're right. So in response to the intruder alarm okay. things, I will make five clone five shells. Five clone shells, sure. So. so we're making, so Kiki's making copies of clone shell every time a hippo comes in. Yes, yeah, so this is one clone shell. <laughs> I'm just excited about these hippos. I know, <laughs> you're the yeah. only one who gets yeah. hippos yeah. because you have my, you, you have this is my suture priest for me. Yeah. <laughs> People think hippos are for fun, but they'll bite your arm off. They will bite your arm off. This is another it's terrifying. shell face down. It's, uh, it's they'll bite you in half. They got a strong <laughs> jaw. This is another clone shell face yeah. down. Uh huh. And then I got one more trigger. Okay. That's, sorry guys, this became a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we're getting, we're out of there. This is this also is, a clone uh, shell. Yeah. All right, so each one of these is a clone shell, and these are the cards underneath the clone shells, okay. signifying them. Yeah, so and they will all, and they will all so die at the end of turn because of Kiki, right? Uh, yes. Yes, so they will all come into play on your turn. Correct. Uh, or on my end step, anyway. So I've used the five <laughs> mana here, so let's Silvala again. Key. Thousand year elixir. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got, uh, I gain one, two, three, and I get three red mana, and I draw a card from Joe drawing a card. So Bala puts in work. As she does, man. <laughs> she it's, is incredible. I also want to green and untap all creatures, and Joe, you have another hippo, so we all Whee! take one. Okay, I'm oh, going no. to uh, pay three treasures to tap Felden <laughs> to mm -hmm. make a, a dock side. Sure. Dark side token. Uh huh. And make. I red, have. I can make infinite <laughs> treasures. You can make infinite. Oh, sure, because you have, a, you have, the, you have the token. I can make infinite dark Right. And infinite treasures. And you're going to. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I it's still have to draw something like, at instant speed. Okay, so, so I mean, I will. I'll tap Silvala, Silvala and parlay. I have a behold the universe. So it's. What did you hit? Uh, Gain one. Ancient tomb. Two, one, two, and I make two green mana. We're up to four. And I draw an extra one because Joe drew an extra one. Okay, found and tapped, so infinite treasures, bunch of treasures. So you have infinite treasures almost? Okay. Uh, no, I, have, I can create infinite treasures it's, and it's infinite as, dock it's as side we go. Like, this is not a definitive loop. Well, really. I mean, it's just, just intruder alarm and Kiki is an infinite loop. Yep, I mean, I, I have to keep it You You going. have to keep going is, and try is and kill the, me. Is the thing. Is the thing, so. Is, so we have to do this. <laughs> Fast forward graphics. This, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll use the three green floating and I'll give Joe three hippos. All right. Key. So that will untap Salvala. Yes. And everybody will lose three. And okay. Joe will have an army. <laughs> <laughs> army of raging hippos. We got a zoo over here, y'all. And you just, you created another three. 
I mean, I, we yeah, can just yeah. sort so of. It's just more I mean, treasures. I don't think I want to clone. The my only option is I could clone shell more stuff, but I don't think I want. I think I want that? stuff in my deck. Uh, I mean, I guess I could be searching through my deck. To well, how many clone shells do you have? I have the. There are six clone shells. All right, so let's put six. We have to do Silvala twenty-three times to. At a time, so. To, so I mean, we have to do it one at a time, right? Yeah, like, yeah, we do have to do it one at a time, sadly. Silvala. So, <laughs> uh, so we're Silvala. Yeah. Give, everyone go to the middle. Okay. Um. Uh, I gain three, and there's three green floating. And what do you need? You get to draw another. Yeah, uh, and like I get, draw another because of one. But you're drawing me into stuff. But if you have I can make dock infinite size. flight steals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which if you have infinite dock size, then you just win on your turn anyway. Yeah, well, I win on my turn for sure. I, well, <laughs> the goal is to not let him untap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got to try and kill me before all this resolves. Pay three, and I am going to cast Attention Sphere targeting Kiki Jiki. Okay. That's an answer. So that's something. In response, you're doing something? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, so we have, you know, yeah, that, that's the thing. You've, she's given me a tyranny of choices, and my little puny human brain has been overwhelmed. <laughs> um, I have a huge hand. I don't think it's going to do anything. Nope. Every yeah, turn. so, I mean, <laughs> what effectively what I could do is make so many clone shells that I basically can clone shell out every creature in my deck sure. in case you fail to kill me. Right. <laughs> So, I, so that's have, like yeah. all I would do. So I could make infinite treasures and infinite clone shells. Sure. That will die at the at, so the, how, at the beginning of your end step. So ex explain. So with this on with this on the stack, okay. how do you continue the loop without all right. Savala? So <laughs> with intruder alarm, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, I see. Field, I see. So that's I can just kiki yeah. in really anything on my board. Yes. I will make however many clone shells it takes okay, to so that will search untap. to basically search out every creature in my deck, Into your deck and sure. turn put it under a token copy of clone shell sure so so now we have we have infinite mana and you have infinite clone shells yeah so you know one this guy bunch of dudes i mean honestly we're going to run out of creatures this very quickly these dudes uh <laughs> You don't want to just let me untap and resolve this? Because no. this was fun. I think everyone loved this, right? This is good. No, just intruder alarm pass is not the way to play. <laughs> Against Kiki Jiki? Uh, I don't think so. OK, so basically, I can make enough clone shells yes. that will not be attacking or blocking or anything, because mm -hmm. it's a combat. I will make one, two, three, there? four, five, six, seven, eight more clone shells. Mm -hmm. But probably so four, 14 eight plus, yeah. Yeah, it's like we could say it's eight. It would probably be more than that because I'd whiff on a few of them and I put them in a random order. So I shuffle my library essentially. And then. Um, Ish. Yeah. And then I would make, you know, enough Dockside extortionists that I have 800 treasure tokens. Sure. Okay. Okay. So 800, 800 treasure. And then Kiki is exiled. Okay. So this is so this is where, where we ended up without me drawing any more cards off of Silvala. Sure. Um, but, so we're going to use, uh, I'll use three treasure tokens and give Joe three, three more hippos. Yes. So we all get drained three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, and then we will parlay once again. Okay. Shimmer dragon. Lightning greaves. Uh, fetid teeth. All right. So I gain three and get three more green. I draw an extra because Joe drew. Silvala is untapped at the end of that. <laughs> Joe, you may have three more hippo tokens. Sweet. So we all top of the ones we just gave. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this green is now gone. Army of hippos. Ready to <laughs> bite. Uh, and then I will parlay once again. The thrill of possibility. OK, so I gain one, two, three, and get three more green mana. And I draw an extra because uh, Joe drew a card. We draw buddies. We draw friends. <laughs> What's up, draw friends? Oh, draw friends! <laughs> <laughs> uh, draw friend, you may have three more hippos. Yeah, yeah, in, in response, hippo girl. in response to in, hippo, in hippo, response, hippo, hippo. I will use two of my to cast Thrill of Possibility. Uh huh. I will discard Blight Steel Colossus and uh -huh. draw two cards. Okay. Blight Steel shuffle himself in. Uh, yes. Yes. So Blight Steel shuffles. Blight Steel shuffles in. I don't think he, he took the three from the last three that just came out. Uh, we're at 17 when this happened. Okay. When those three, so everybody three takes more. three. I didn't know, maybe. Yep. Yeah, because he, he was in response to the yep. three. And um, the dry erase marker. <laughs> Are you going to write 798? Look, we had to, I had to stop the loop, OK? Because like, otherwise, we'd just be, it's a yeah. draw. I keep making treasure tokens until you go home. Uh, I got a draw hippo. Oh, here. wait. Hey, give, me the, give me the thing. I can, I so I can. How many hippos do you have? 
I will pay two. Damn, I'm so dumb. I cannot believe it. I'm going to pay two, <laughs> and I'm going to turn oh, Treetop Village into an ape. And now I can pay a green and untap Treetop Village and just give Joe 14 hippos without okay. drawing any more cards. So I'm going to pay two. I'm activating Treetop's ability, ah, which turns go. it into a 3-3 three, three green creature with trample until end of turn. This creature still counts as a land. And then, so I can tap the eight for green mana, and then I will give Joe ah, another hippo. Are. So so I've stopped drawing the table cards for a moment. So 14 plus which 23. Which is enough to, so that puts me to 30. So that's 30, what, that 37? That AD to zero. No! Uh, and that puts, so I said 14, so okay. you go to 13. I guess I should <laughs> continue this. So I'm gonna do, thir <laughs> I'm gonna, Joe, I'm gonna give you 13 more. Okay. And then I'm gonna take out Lynch with, with Treetop. So you have 50 hippos even. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I will have, uh, that's it's a nice deck. Until end of turn. How are you okay. gonna kill him? Nice card. I, 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 it's a slow deck, it's not a nice deck. <laughs> okay, and then I have to pass the turn. <laughs> okay. I got 50 hippos. Here, we're... Can he kill you with hippos? Uh, I can't swing at you, right? With the hippos? I guess I can't pass yet. Because okay. you absolutely can. This is still a creature, so I have infinite green. And then I'll tap I'll tap the white and I'll cast a ghostly prison, which actually helps. That will help. I still have infinite green mana. I suppose I, what I should do is cast all the things in my hand with green. I will cast Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Play a Vidalcan Orrery. I will cycle a migration path. I will play an additional land. This is what's giving you infinite? Um, yeah, because it's a creature. Um, every time I make a hippo, I can oh, okay, untap gotcha. stuff. So Joe's gonna have like essentially infinite hippos. <laughs> <laughs> is, is what's happening. So every green, every green man I I tap. Joe gets another hippo. <laughs> Figuring out how to not die. Well, you can still Savala now that. Well, no, I can. Have, I can still Savala. Get a ghostly yeah. prison out. So I have yeah, a ghostly have prison. For I have. Each. I have a ghostly prison. So I'm like. And that's, if I don't. I have an additional land drop to make. So I will play command tower, and I still have infinite green mana. With that, I'm gonna cast some things just to get them out of my hand. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh, defense of the heart. I'm going to cast cast sky shroud claim and omen of the hunt. So I'm gonna go find a basic land tapped and then find some forests untapped. And then I'm gonna cast a Court of Calling where X is like 11. I don't have anything that big, I just don't. I just wanna look. Why not? <laughs> so, uh, I also can cast an Ashaya. And, that, uh, and then we're gonna resolve these things just all at once. Yeah, so all your creatures are forests. All my creatures are forests, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna so I'm gonna find a shock in a breeding pool. I know what I can do. Oh, that's the search of the forest. Can I do this? What I have one saying? more forest to come in untapped. Okay, so I'll put next blue mansion into play. All the man news. And then I'm gonna fractured identity corpse knight. Okay. So um, it's exiled, and then you get a copy. Oh. I can't. Okay, so this doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, okay, so corpse knight okay, because I can't, I can't give you me hippos. Well, I mean, I still died at I, English trumpet. So that that'll be a take back. Your yeah, time. yeah. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> I've been so dumb. Uh, oh, wait, this is my That's a hilarious way to kill me. Okay. Too, so. uh, you know what? Let's just see if Angel's trumpet can get it done. Uh, I'll go to my cleanup step. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And I'll, di I'll discard the hand size. <laughs> uh, I believe you have to tap all your creatures or something. Oh, I take some damage. Yeah. I take some like damage right bit. now. Like I take one, bit. two, three, four damage. Couldn't you, couldn't you tap them all as I forests? Because they're all forests. So uh, you don't take any damage? But they have to attack. I'd rather None. leave them untapped. Oh. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take oh. four, but I'm going to go to my cleanup step. And I will discard some mm, creatures cannot swing with right now. Lands. <laughs> lands. Land, yeah. have, well, each land taps for two, but I have 50 of these. Rushing altar. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Come on. Right, what are you doing, Joe? Are you I, waiting for a discard? I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for a discard. I have one more to discard. All right, got some all drunk, done. Drunk That's it. over here having fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <They're thinking laughs> I am. Some of their legs are flimsy. All right, all right, so your I, turn. I untap. I'll lose a life because I make another fairy. Uh-huh. 
Uh, wait, I had a fairy out there. So I had a fairy <laughs> out there. So I'll make another fairy. So I need a, a dice. Dice. Dice a Rony. Oh, okay, God. I lose one to a fairy. Uh, to, from Corpse Knight. So uh, I draw a card as well. So I play an isolated chapel for turn. And then uh -oh. I'm going to tap three for three black to play the Bastion of Remember. Uh -oh. Very good, okay. I'll create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier token. Uh, whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life and I gain one uh -oh. life. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> if he has any sack, I'll let you're in trouble. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, so I mean, I didn't let him draw like 27 cards. <laughs> okay, so we got a soldier. Um, I'm going to tap two from the Isolated Chapel, because I have Zendikar Resurgent, so uh -huh. I'm going to make two black. I'm going to Demonic Tutor. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> I am going to pay three, and I'm going to cast Saw It Coming and counterspell your Demonic Tutor. Fair Ooh. enough. Oh, Saw It Coming! Oh, that's fair, fair enough. enough. Fair New enough. from Kalheim. <laughs> it's super important, <laughs> Saw It Coming. <laughs> that was a pretty important Saw yeah, I mean, coming. if you saw it coming, you would have... <laughs> Not fractured identity. How? Yeah, yes, you're right. <laughs> Absolutely. You that, I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, that is probably my only ticket out. I can attack with you one, can, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven creatures. Well, I mean, here, let me try to yeah, at least try yeah, one at more out. You, you have at, least go the, at least go the I hate your deck I'll, swing I'll play, out. I'll crack the silent clearing. I'll uh -huh. draw a card. I will also draw a card. <laughs> Doesn't help. So I'll just start digging. Uh, Pay one black or two black. I'll cast a Zulapore Cutthroat. Mm -hmm. um, I'll draw a card because of Zendikar Resurgent. I will draw a card as well. I still have, so I have one floating. So I have one white floating. Sure. Um, <laughs> tap white into Wooded Bastion and float. Oh, I lose one to Corpse Knight. Oh yes. From the Zulapore. That's true. Yeah. And I'll play uh, Imara, Soul of the Accord. Mm -hmm. You lose one, I'll mm -hmm. draw a card. I will also draw. Honestly, best person to psychically possess. Yeah. If, you could <laughs> ever, if you could ever get the chance to possess Joe, <laughs> you would. it's a good time. I'm going to pay two, a white, uh, yeah, two white. I had a white float, and I'm going to pay green, two green. I'll have the white float filter into this to make white white and that to make black green just because I don't want to tap that by itself and not have that. So I have seven mana because I have one from this pile mm -hmm. from that. So I have seven mana floating. I'm going to cast a hand where militia captain. What does that do? Uh, beginning of your upkeep, if you control four more creatures, transform. She turned into a big, big ones. Mm -hmm. uh, draw a card. And I will also draw. The and corpse I will lose tiny. a life. I'll play Tristani Discordant. Mm -hmm. Make. You lose a life. <laughs> I lose a life, and you draw a card, and I draw a card. And I'll make two more Soldier Boys, but I don't think it matters. So you lose two uh, more life? I lose two more. And I can't swing with any of them because, <laughs> because it's ghostly person. Because it's ghostly person. Oh, I do. Well, did I draw a card from something? You should yeah, get yeah. one more draw. And then yeah. how, when does this trigger? On his end step. On my end step. So I can't swing. I die. <laughs> too many hippos. <laughs> too many hippos. They love you this game. Too many hippos. I, I, well, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see the J-Vax is kind of coming. I, I didn't see that. The hippos still you. killed him. What is this card <laughs> called? Angel's, Angel's Trumpet. Trumpet. Yeah. It's that, um, that put in work for you. This and Savala. Savala. This Look, and Savala. When you did can't really put good. Sutra Priest in this deck, you have to make do with what you, you have. Um, <laughs> well, good game, Rachel. Good I games, still hate Felden a little that's, bit more. That's, I, that's, <laughs> I mean, I loved Felden that game. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you want infinite creatures? Me too. Yeah. Good time, uh, good time. I'm trying to think if there's anything you could have drawn me into. I really don't think I had any instant speed. Like that you that's a cut. Expel. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you like us that much, join our Patreon. Hey, we play a lot of games with our patrons on our Discord, where we've created a really fun community. So hopefully we'll see you on our Discord playing some magic. We have new play mats. We have t-shirts. We got a lot of cool merch coming out. So there's plenty of ways to support I Hate Your Deck, whether it's through Patreon, or buying our merch, or play mats. And our Ultra Sleeves. 
get that merch. Just wanted to say we're really excited about our new sponsor, Channel Fireball. Anytime you're on the website, whether it's new product or singles, definitely use the code IHYD. What's up, guys? We want to send a special shout out to all of our sponsors. Shout out to Dragon Shield that has the best sleeves. And we got our custom sleeves right here and perfect fits and deck boxes and play mats. <laughs> also, shout out to Alter Sleeve. They will hook you up, definitely. If you want to bling out that deck, hit up altersleeves.com. It's time for the Patreon shout outs. I'd like to thank Kevin Emery, Trenton Days, Games Law Longbridge. Thanks, you guys. If you want a chance at a random shout out, be a tier three or tier four patron of I Hate Your Deck. It's one thing we do each month. We're grateful for all of our patrons because without our patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today. And hopefully with more patrons, we'll eventually be able to go weekly because we know you guys want more episodes and we want to be able to give you more episodes. So thank you very much for being a patron of I Hate Your Deck. Our tier four patrons get a free altar sleeve each month from altar sleeve designed by the Dink List. Now, in addition to this, you're able to add other altar sleeves you might want to your cart because you get free shipping each month on one order that comes with our custom altar sleeve. And altar sleeve also ships to anywhere in the world. So don't ever worry about not being able to get it or shipping or whatnot. They will make it happen. Plus you get 5% off your entire order if you order any more altar sleeves from us. Intro and outro music by Hollow Brooks. Background music by Sakura. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. Wizards of the West Coast. Support our show with the code IHYD from our sponsor, Channel Fireball, when buying products from them.